The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh made their inaugural visit to Rutland earlier this week, marking a significant occasion as they participated in a cherished local tradition dating back centuries. Prince Edward and Sophie, who had never before set foot in England's smallest county, were required to adhere to a unique custom as a rite of passage. During their visit, their royal highnesses toured various landmarks, including Rutland Showground, the Duke of Edinburgh Memorial Garden, and Oakham Castle. At the castle, they engaged in a time-honored practice by presenting a double horseshoe, a symbolic gesture signifying their first visit to Rutland. This tradition stems from an age-old belief that presenting a horseshoe upon arrival ensures settling one's debts before departing, a superstition likely tied to the Ferrer's family. The tradition of presenting a horseshoe as a forfeit originated from the time of the Norman conquest, with Henry de Ferrer's, who served as master of horse to Duke William. The Ferrer's family coat of arms prominently featured six black horseshoes on a silver background, symbolizing their connection to this practice. These horseshoes, which are hung on the castle walls in a downward fashion, are believed to ward off evil spirits, as per the superstition that the devil cannot nest in the bottom of a horseshoe. Interestingly, the way horseshoes are hung, cup either facing up or down, carries different meanings. In Rutland, they hang downward to trap good luck, preventing it from spilling out and being wasted, whereas the traditional British way, with the cup facing up, is said to store the good luck safely. Despite nearly 250 horseshoes adorning the walls of Oakham Castle's Great Hall, this collection represents only a fraction of those presented over the centuries. Historically, horseshoes were displayed on the castle gates, making them vulnerable to theft, and some less notable donations have been quietly misplaced over the years. Additionally, during the First World War, many horseshoes were melted down as scrap metal to support the war effort, diminishing the collection further. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more updates about the royals.